Hawaii Island are closely monitoring a river of lava heading toward a key roadway that connects Hilo and Kona. Our Eddie Dowd has been covering the eruption all week and has more on why some experts say it's not a question of if, but when the lava reaches Daniel K. Noe Highway. We are here at the base of Mauna Loa where this lava flow shows no signs of stopping. However, it has been showing some signs of slowing down. This is images we captured in the morning. You can see that stretch of lava coming down the Mauna, making its trek towards um, in the direction of the Daniel K. Inouye Highway. And this has caused officials to make plans in case that situation does happen. If it continues at that rate, the soonest it would get to the saddle road is approximately two days. Losing that part of infrastructure will mean that we fall back to the, the coastal routes, Highway 19 and Highway 11. And as far as timing, you know, in the past, Hilo to Kona, you know, two and a half hours uh, via Hamakua. One thing they're hoping that will slow down this river of lava is the landscape. Take a look behind me. You can see it starts to flatten out here. It crossed the Monolo Observatory Road. Last night it crossed the dirt Hilo to Kona Road. A lot of unknowns in here about how that flow is going to move across that flat area. Over the past two days, we've seen that lava quickly go down the mountain, but it's been down slope. So the thinking is once it reaches this flatter land, it will significantly slow down. Reporting on Hawaii Island, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Now, as the flow slowly moves along, some Big Island businesses are starting to think about the impact of a potential saddle road closure. The highway is a lifeline for many trucking businesses that go back and forth between Kona and Hilo. It's not only the most direct route, but it also has no load restrictions. Earlier today, we spoke with a team at Mihara Transfer, which has 18 trucks spread across the island. They use the road daily and having to use either the Hamakua or Ka'u alternate routes would double their commutes. Well, for us, it's the best route because as far as weight limitations, um, there are no bridges, so there's no weight capacity limits. And it is a direct route, so it saves us about an hour or so when we're transporting goods, yeah. Now, Nakamura adds this time of year is also usually their busiest due to an increase in goods being transported. And the county is once again urging volcano watchers to stop parking along Daniel K. Inouye Highway after a car crash last night. They say a car was idling in the shoulder lane at mile marker 44 just after 9 p.m. and was struck while attempting to pull back onto the roadway. Six patients were involved, but only two needed treatment for minor injuries. Hawaii County's mayor has banned parking alongside the highway to keep people safe during the eruption. And check this out, Pele's hair is falling in the Saddle Road area. These are new photos from the USGS of the strands of volcanic gas. They were collected miles away from the fissures after being carried downwind and scientists say the strands form when hot lava pools and stretches as it cools. And here's the latest photo taken of the eruption from the USGS's field cameras. The latest VOG data from UH researchers show that air quality levels remain moderate right now, and they say the eruption is emitting about 241 tons of sulfur dioxide every day. And this comes as the trades are making a comeback. Guy Hagi has more on that in your first alert forecast, Guy. Yeah, thanks a lot. The trade winds are making a comeback. It should be a wonderful weekend. And the good thing is we don't have to worry about the VOG because it's coming up at such a high elevation. It's not going to affect us down at sea level. First alert, though, is this big swell coming into the north and west shores starting tomorrow. And it's going to build through Friday. Good news for the Haleiwa Challenger contest there. Light to moderate trades will hang on in through the weekend. That means some comfortable conditions and the rain threat kind of backs off. Although the big island could still see some spots of heavy rain. And what's ahead? Well, the best weather on the planet. There it is. They're a little cloudy at times, and there's still a little bit of instability down towards the east. That's why the Big Island could still get a rumble or two of thunder, especially late in the afternoon. But overall, we're looking at really great stuff. I love your seven-day forecast coming up in a few minutes. Ask Thanks, Hagi. Well, some folks on the Big Island reported hearing booms across the island around 10.30 this morning. The USGS says it was a jet and not Mauna Loa. So this infrared ray shows the sound came from the air, actually. And stay with Hawaii News Now for continuing coverage on the Mauna Loa eruption on air, online.